Hi everyone, I have an exciting set of tools to show you today. A jump ring maker designed and produced by Pepe Tools in the United States. Jump rings are one of those components that are used constantly in jewelry making in almost everything to connect, hold and link things together or even to decorate. You can't make a chain without jump rings and you won't be able to finish earrings without them. There are different ways to make jump rings. You could simply use round pliers and cutters if you only need a few. Or if you want to get larger quantities fast, you can use a precise tool specifically made for this job. So let's take a look at this jump ring maker over here. The set includes coil winder, which can be bolted down to your bench for easy use and stability. There are 20 mandrels in various sizes, which you can store on this handy base. There's handpiece holder, which covers the blade and helps you cut easily and safely, with a guide marked on top of it to help you properly align the blade. And there's the coil holder, which you use to hold the coil securely in one place while cutting. Inside of the coil holder, you can see the line marking the maximum length of the coil. There's also a metal stop. You will screw down the cover on top of the coil, making sure the cover is level. Now, let me show you how to fit the blade. It's very thin and super sharp, so please make sure you are extremely cautious while handling it. This is the arbor with the locating pin. You will attach the blade onto the arbor, aligning the notch in the blade with that pin. Then cover it and screw firmly together. It's vital to check that the bottom of the blade cuts towards you. Make sure to check it while fitting the blade and then before attaching it onto the handpiece, just to make sure. This jumping maker has been designed to work with the Fordham flex shaft and the H30 jack handpiece. You will mount the blade in the handpiece and tighten it well with the chuck key. It's time to slide the handpiece into the holder like so and we will put some Pepe lip on the blade before fitting the blade inside the cover. Now, important step is making sure everything is perfectly aligned. The groove will help you place the handpiece and the blade properly inside the holder. Tighten the screws lightly so you can still move the handpiece. Then take the top of the coil holder and place it on top to make sure the blade is in the dead center of the guide and doesn't touch the sides. Only then tighten the screws, but do not over tighten for safety. You can move the blade a bit to check that it's definitely not touching the sides. There are holes in the holder to screw it down onto the bench. You can also place it in the bench vise, making sure the holder is firmly secured and there is absolutely no movement. When placing the coil inside of the coil cover, make sure metal stop is at the front, closer to you as you are cutting towards yourself. Once again, the line above marks the maximum length of the coil, which is 3 inches. Use Pepe Loop to lubricate the metal and the blade. Wearing your safety glasses and the mask is an absolute must. Please wear them at all times while working with any tools and especially with cutting tools. Your safety is a top priority here. Now I will show you how to use the tool. I've mounted the holder tightly and securely in my bench vise and I made sure it's perfectly level to the bench. I'm checking the fit and that there's nothing in the way that might block the movement of my arm and a flex shaft. Time to make the coil. I'm placing the 3mm mandrel in the coil winder, attaching the wire and then creating the coil like so.
time to place the coil in the holder and lubricate with Pepe Lube. Then cover with the top, again making sure it is level and not over tighten. I'm checking the fit once again, making sure everything fits very well. It's important to have a firm grip on the handpiece holder. Now using the foot control of the motor, I will start rotating the blade and then pull it steadily towards me, carefully sliding it along the top of the coil holder. After stopping the flex shaft, I will wait until the blade completely stops moving. After it's stopped, I will lift the holder vertically, making sure I don't bend the blade. Next, all we need to do is to unscrew the thumb screws and remove the jump rings. You can reuse little plastic bags to store them. Remember to mark the size of the jump rings and wire gauge so you can identify them easily later on. And that's all. I hope my instructions were clear and easy to understand. The tool comes with the instructions which explain each step very well and in details and there's more tips listed. There are also other useful videos online, including video by Dave Wilson from Celtic Dreams, so make sure you check that one too. And remember, this is a cutting tool that can be very dangerous if not used properly, so make sure your safety comes first. Wear protective equipment and learn how to operate the tool properly before using it. The team at Pepe Tools will be happy to assist you if you have any questions at all or need some help. Check the description box below this video for more info and links. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!